Why, hello there, friends, ladies and gentlemen, fellow firearms enthusiasts. Welcome back to Crooked Horse Rifle and Pistol out of Lamar County, Mississippi. Now, I've been gone for, you know, for a bit, you know, uh, near between job. Also, uh, you know, right, Crooked Horse Rifle and Pistol is, uh, you know, part of Crooked Horse Ranch. And on the ranch, I got lots of projects. You know, it's springtime, so lots of projects, and, you know, they got to get done. But anywho, got myself a box. But not just any box. This box came from Smith & Wesson. No, I didn't buy a new gun. This here is my Smith & Wesson response. You know, several weeks ago, helicopter in the back there. Several weeks ago, Smith & Wesson put out a public safety notice about uh, some issues with the response rifle. You can go to their website, look and read up on it, see if you know your response you know, falls under it. However, they did issue a recall and you know, I sent my rifle in, or my carbine, I should say, and it just came by FedEx today. So we're going to open this thing up. I will say the turnaround for whatever it was that they did was pretty quick. It only took Maybe about a week. Pretty windy out. This ain't the same box that I sent it in. Okay, here's what they did. They put a box inside a box. Got that thing in there. All right. Here's my original box. Set this aside. Got my my carbine back. And let's see. Yeah, 
All right, there's two little marks on there that show that it has been modified. Got little tick marks right after the nine you know, before and after the nine millimeter thing on on the boat. So if you do have a response pistol caliber carbine and you've not sent yours in yet, I'll just say that you can have, you know, you know, Smith and Weston, they do pay for everything. They pay for the shipping, you know, via FedEx, you know, to them and back. I'm gonna set this aside up quick. And they also pay for the repair itself. Now them recalls ain't nothing to mess around with. Best to get it done. So that means I'm gonna put my Hollison sight back on and then we'll check to make sure it's zeroed. So I got my no frills shooting rest set up. This is just a cheap Caldwell Matrix uh, shooting rest. And I have my target set up. And that's about That white, that white target, board target out there, that's about, you know, 20, that's about 25 meters, so just a little over 25 yards. So what we're gonna do is first we're just gonna see just how far off we're at and now our, our zero is. And I'm just gonna shoot three rounds. All right, so again, just gonna be three rounds just to see how far out of, out of zero we are. Weapon on safe. Let's go check it out. So instead of walking back and forth to the target, I got this little monocle scope. I'm able to see exactly where my rounds are placed. And it's like I'm a little high to the right. Yeah, you know, sure beats walking back and forth. All right, so I made some more adjustments. Let's do three rounds and see where we land. My help, I took the weapon off safe.
All right, let's see how we do. All right, so now that we got our sight zeroed in, let's shoot some steel. That's too fun. Let's refill this magazine here. I real say you know, one thing about this firearm that it, uh, it's a very easy gun to shoot. And for ammunition, I've just been putting some blazer on 15 grain steel jacket and ammo through it, and it's just been eating it up. So, let's shoot some more steel. So definitely, I mean, a fun firearm shoot. That little cap starting to come loose. You know what I mean? And uh, very easy to learn. You know, I want it. Now, the sight that I'm using on this, this is the Holosun uh, 5. Uh, 510 Charlie and it's been holding at zero uh, without issue. I have a couple other pistols that I put uh, optics on that I got a zero in. I'm not going to bore you with that. But well, anywho, again, so folks, if you happen to have that, you know, the Smith Wesson response, go on the website, plug in the serial number of it. Make sure that your your rifle doesn't fall under the recall. You now, if it does, you now box it up, send it again. You know, send it in again, Smith and Wesson. You know, they pay for the shipping, both to them and back to you. Uh, you go on the website. You now you you plug in your data. You now they email you a, a a shipping label. Take it to your FedEx office. Now, as long as you file the directions that come in that email, you'll get it out to Smith & Wesson, you know, right quick. You know, quick turnaround on the repairs. 
and a quick turn and they'll, and they'll uh, recover back to you. And it's even with FedEx. I don't know about y'all, but uh, I, I'm not, uh, I've never been too impressed with their service. A lot of times they'll say something delivered when they never even showed up. So anywho, I'd like to thank you for coming out here with Crooked Horse Rifle and Pistol out of here in Lamar County, Mississippi. And until next time, thank you for shooting.